everyone, my name is Nylee. I'm an artist and a senior product designer working at Planned Parenthood. And as of this year, I'm also a MAP Fellow. MAP stands for Mortgage Acceleration Program, and it's a program started by the Mortgage Family Foundation to tackle the greatest challenges of our time. It's been regarded by Forbes as a powerful opportunity for collaboration and innovative thinking, and has also been rated by Pro Fellow as one of the top fellowships in the United States. So needless to say, it's a huge opportunity and I felt so excited, um, nervous, and then overall just grateful that I was selected as a fellow. Considering how unique of an opportunity this is, I really wanted to document my experience and share all aspects of the journey, particularly how a fellowship like the Matt Fellowship can impact and really advance your career. So right now I'm in Chicago, this is where I live, but tomorrow I'll actually be in Miami, Florida. This is where they're hosting the Matt Fellowship kickoff event up in person four-day event where it seems that we'll do two main things. The first is that I'll get to meet the other program participants in person, which I'm really, really excited about. This includes the 11 other fellows as well as my MAP mentor. My MAP mentor is a social sector executive that I'll get to collaborate with for the next six months. And the second thing we'll do is dive deep into our MAP challenge. The MAP challenge is the unique problem that each fellow is tasked with addressing for the next six months. Overall, Overall, I imagine it's going to be a jam-packed weekend um, in a good way. My flight takes off at 7 a.m. tomorrow, I believe, and I have yet to pack, so we're going to do that right now. Okay, so I'm done packing. The sun is just about to set here, so it's time to really just like wind things down. I think I'm just gonna take the rest of the afternoon to think about um, the trip, think about how I wanna make the most out of the experience, and think about if there's any last minute things that I just need to make sure I have packed in my bag. Um, but overall, I'm feeling really excited. I think it's gonna be a really transformational experience. I'm really excited to meet everyone. And yeah, I will see you tomorrow morning. Checking in was a really nice experience. From what I've seen so far from the hotel, it's absolutely stunning. It's I was able to meet some folks from the MAP team um, below. They were there to welcome me and gave me a little goodie bag. I have yet to open it, so we're gonna do that right now. Whew. Ooh, first things first is a t-shirt, so cute. Oh, how nice. Okay, so it's a t-shirt or a v-neck more specifically, and it has the Matte Fellowship logo on it. Oh, so nice. It's super soft. And then we have, oh my gosh, this is perfect because um, on the way here, I was actually thinking, should have brought a journal or something to take notes in. Nowadays with technology, like it's just, you know, you think like, oh, I'll just use my laptop or or my iPad, or you think like that that's all you need. And there's something about a notebook that just feels so much more special and so much more intentional than the average, you know, taking notes on your computer. So I really appreciate this. Uh, very nice. Some water, gotta have the essentials, of course. I believe tomorrow morning is when um, we're going on some sort of 
hike slash outdoor adventure. That will be something very interesting and something where I'm definitely gonna need this. And to go along with that, some sunscreen as well. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. They, <laughs> they got like the matte branding on it. Okay, and then lastly, card. Let's open it. Nylee, welcome to the map community. Cheers to the beginning of an impactful six months. Here we go. Tony Ash and the Morgridge Family Foundation team. This is all really thoughtful of them to include. I can't wait to use this, especially the journal. I'm really excited about the journal. I'm super pumped for this weekend, but I'm also extremely tired at the moment. I woke up around 3.45 a.m. this morning and have been traveling since then. So I'm exhausted, but the adrenaline and the excitement is keeping me going. I have a couple more hours until our first event. It's at 3.30 and right now it's around like 1.15 or so. So until then, I think I'm just going to relax on this incredible bed <laughs> and then also just get ready for the day. All right, so I am ready to go. I have my business casual outfit. I have my map name tag right here, as well as a journal and an iPad pack so that I can take notes. I don't really know what to expect, but I feel like this initial welcome celebration, which is the first thing we're gonna do, will give me a really good idea of what's to come. And overall, I'm excited to share bits and pieces of the experience with you. So without further ado, let's do it. It's been a wild day in the best sense. Today I got to meet all of the other fellows. They are so intelligent, kind, overall just incredibly diverse too. There's people who are, you know, still in undergrad and there are people who are already 10, 15 years into their career as well, which I was really, really surprised by. And not only in terms of like career, but also just general background, like where people are from, where they grew up, where they're at now, the things they've experienced. I got to know so many people on like such a deep level today that I didn't expect. I just feel so fortunate to have got to know everyone so deeply in one day and it makes me all the more excited for the next three days where I'm just gonna get to know everyone even deeper. I feel like this was also achieved because of the activity we did with MindSpark where we got to learn more about what makes an effective team, what makes an effective leader, how we show up with vulnerability, how we how we do or do not show up with vulnerability, what are our strengths as leaders, what are the things that we want to grow in. And I feel like these personal strengths often aren't talked about in general in life and sometimes not even in the workplace. And so having that space where we got to really dive deep into that was not only helpful for me, but was also just helpful, I feel like, for the whole group to get to know each other. I was able to take a lot of great notes during that section, and I'm glad I did because I don't want to forget anything that I learned today. It's about close to 10 p.m. right now, so I'm gonna get ready for bed and call it a night so that I can get plenty of rest for tomorrow morning. We have an early start to the day. I think our first activity kicks off at about eight, so I should definitely get some rest, and I will see you tomorrow. 
Hello, good morning, and welcome to day two of the MAP kickoff event. I got up a little bit early this morning. I'm on the top floor right now um, because I thought it'd be nice to get a few shots of this really beautiful hotel before we're supposed to meet downstairs, um, especially because yesterday I didn't get the chance to check it out. So we're gonna start off the day with just a little bit of a mini tour of this beautiful hotel and also just to get some really beautiful Miami vibes. I come from two really cold places. I'm originally from Oregon and I'm currently living in Chicago, both of which can get pretty cold and don't have these gorgeous tropical vibes which um, are really abundant here. So I definitely want to take advantage of that and get some really good views in. Okay, so as you can see, this place is absolutely gorgeous. I'm so glad that I came up here to check things out, especially since we have another jam-packed day today. I'm currently wearing um, my Matt Fellowship shirt, um, as well as, you can't see, but I'm wearing some leggings and some running shoes. Uh, according to the MAP team, we're gonna do an activity today that's probably gonna be a bit more active. And then after that, we'll also be doing more work around our MAP challenge and meeting our MAP mentor, which I'm really excited about. So another really packed day. Let's see how it goes. What you're gonna do, you're gonna slide it onto the line, right? And you're gonna pass these metal plates. All right, so I'm back. I don't even know where to start, to be honest. <laughs> I don't even, it might be because I'm tired and it might be because I'm just amazed, but I am left without words. I feel like I've connected so deeply on on every level with everyone. Today was specifically special because I met my mentor, um, Catherine Styler. She's currently the CEO of Creative Commons and is a former member of the European Parliament. Oh my gosh, I don't even know like how one, you just have to meet her. You have to meet her to feel her magic. Her knowledge, her joy, her optimism, the warmth, the kindness that she brings to every conversation. We actually did an activity at some point throughout the day where we all shared like what a top strength we believe we have. And Catherine said that her strength was people. And I 100% agree with that. I completely admire that as someone who, who wants to be good at that. I, I personally, I want to be someone who can connect with anyone. Overall, she absolutely amazed me. We spent a little bit of time today on our map challenge, but not a whole lot. We, we spent a little bit of time mainly just focusing on understanding the problem, which I really appreciated because when you come to the table with this is what we need to solve, I think that a whole chunk of the work needs to be done on understanding what it is that we need to solve because everyone can have different interpretations of that. We sat in front of an art piece. It was a, a video installation. We just sat in front of the art piece and we talked about what the problem was at Creative Commons, what's going on, what, what's the nature of the organization, how it relates to this challenge. So that was really, that was a very, very valuable time. I, I really enjoyed it and um, I learned a lot in that one session. I feel like today honestly felt like three days packed into one. <laughs> 
And when I look back on it, it all started at like 8 a.m. this morning. And it's only been a day. And somehow it just feels like I spent like a week with these people. With every moment, with every conversation, I'm more convinced that this is an incredibly special place full of people who genuinely care about doing social impact work, people who are incredibly wise. And that not only goes for the other fellows as well as like my mentor, but the other mentors as well. I've gotten to interact with the other mentors all throughout the day. And that's not something that I actually expected from this experience. I got to learn so much about these other incredible people and it became more and more clear that it's not just a one-to-one -one relationship in this fellowship. It's multi-dimensional, it's cross-functional, it's honestly just like a web of people and people that you can count on, people that you can reach out to, people who are gonna look out for you as well as your path and the way that you're gonna make an impact in the world. I don't know what else to say except that day two was an absolute success. We still have two more days. We're only at the halfway point, which is, oh my goodness. So lots more to come tomorrow. I'm gonna go to bed now. I will see you tomorrow. Hello, good morning, and welcome to day three of the MAP kickoff event. I'm here on the beautiful Miami Beach. I thought I'd come out here a little bit early um, just to get some views because I have yet to see it during the day. And I imagine today is gonna be another really wonderful day. I do know that the main focus is gonna be on our MAP challenge and really getting a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with our mentor to figure out how we wanna approach our problem. So day three, let's do this. All right, so I'm back, but day three is not done yet. Actually, this is just like little intermission period. We just finished our main activities for the day and now we have a little break before getting ready and heading to dinner. Unfortunately, the mentors left already, so that was kind of sad, but mostly just positive energy actually because we talked about what we're excited about for the fellowship and before the mentors left, it was just a very nice, get together of everyone, sharing their positive energy, sharing their enthusiasm and their excitement for the rest of the program and how really this is the kickoff of so many amazing things to come. Today, as I kind of expected, was an opportunity to definitely dive deep into our challenge. And we tackled this not only from a strategy point of view, so what is it that we're trying to do? What are some approaches we can take? But also from an interpersonal point of view, we talked about our communication styles. How do we want to work together? What does success feel like for each other in this fellowship? At the start of day three, knowing that we were going to focus on things for our map challenge, I felt so, I felt worried and I felt a bit unclear about how we were gonna approach everything because it's a huge challenge. My challenge specifically is um, for the organization Creative Commons where Catherine is the CEO. Creative Commons is a global organization that provides legal tools for folks to be able to use copyrighted works in a way that can help them reuse it, reshare it, um, remake it. And this is really essential for creativity and innovation in the world. For example, on YouTube, when you upload a video, you can choose a Creative Commons license, which will allow people to share and reuse your work in a way that still protects your rights as a creator, but allows other people to remix and remake and um, further build upon your work. These tools are also on Wikipedia, so every Wikipedia article has Creative Commons licensing. Creative Commons has a huge influence. They have um, a really wide spectrum of the people who use the services. So there's a, a brand awareness gap because folks don't even know that the Creative Commons license they're using, that it's being provided by an organization called Creative Commons, um, that they have other tools that they can use. And so what we're really seeing is uh, a lack of brand awareness. And so that is something that Creative Commons wants to do as an organization. However, it's been difficult to do it because there's not a clear understanding of 
who is using Creative Commons licenses. And so part of my challenge is that we want to do something to understand who Creative Commons is serving so that in the future they can have more intentional ways of targeting and of reaching those people. At the start of today, I felt so uh, overwhelmed and so worried about how to even approach this really huge problem. And by no means is it solved by the end of today. It is not solved by any means, but there's this new found sense of clarity and confidence in myself to be able to figure this out with time that I didn't have at the beginning of the day. I just feel so grateful for that and I'm so glad. I, it, was a, it was a really productive day and we still have the other half of the day to go where we're gonna have dinner and I've been hearing talks that folks wanna go dancing so we'll be doing that too. So let's go ahead and wrap up day three. Hello and good morning. It is day four of the MAP Fellowship. Very last day. It's technically not a full day actually. It's um, more like a quarter day or half day. But nonetheless, still the last day and we still have a couple things planned. Last night was tons of fun, um, but I'm definitely feeling the effects of it right now. We just stayed out pretty late and um, we still had to wake up really early this morning. But besides that, I'm I'm feeling good. It's It's been a really, really great fellowship so far and will definitely be a bit bittersweet to say goodbye to everyone, but will also be really great because this whole thing has just been around creating these close connections with each other and I feel like we wholeheartedly have done that so far. So yes, last day, um, I'm all packed ready to go my stuff's in the corner right there so yeah right now i'm just gonna head down we're gonna have breakfast and finish up our last day i probably won't do another check-in until i'm back in chicago to just kind of recap the trip so yes it is the last day of the map fellowship let's finish strong So I'm back in Chicago and I really underestimated how fast the weekend was going to fly by. Our last day was really mellow. We had a guest speaker come in, an alumni who did the MAP Fellowship and she came and shared a little bit about her experience and what we should expect and that was really insightful for us. The last day was also pretty bittersweet because all of the fellows said goodbye to each other. Even though that was a bit sad, uh, we all really reassured each other that we're going to keep in touch through social media and of course our group chat. At this point, I feel really motivated and energized to get the work for my map challenge started. I imagine there's going to be a lot of road bumps along the way, but I also feel like all of those will just be opportunities for growth too. So for now, my next move is actually applying for our map challenge funds. 
These two funds include over $6,000 combined that I could use to visit my mentor in person and also address the challenge that I'm working on. These funds can be used to attend a conference, help fuel your research, or honestly anything that you can dream of that would help you complete your challenge or accelerate it in some way. Thank you so much for coming with me to the MAP Fellowship Kickoff event. It was a really transformational experience and I hope it inspired you to check out the fellowship and learn more about how you can get involved in the Mortgage Family Foundation. See you next time.